Uh, Tim, mate, I've never offered you a contract before, or even talked about it. How can the talks have broken down before I've even done anything? That, my friend, is a little bit dodgy. Sort yourself out. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Building a Nation with FC Midgeland. Now, I thought we'd just throw ourselves straight into a Champions League draw, since that basically came immediately after our fixtures. Then we'll go through some other stuff straight after this. But let's just dump straight in. We're going to do, of course, an automatic draw at this point. Now, <clears throat> we could get drawn against some really good sides in this one, which is a bit shame because we're, of course, unseeded. But what can you do? So this is one of them that we could have got. No. Okay. Hibernian. All right, who are we going to get? Come on, not someone to... Oh my god. FC Stoyer, that is going to be crazy difficult, even in this round. That's quite frustrating, actually. Um, unless the Moldovan side, Milsami, pull off an absolute mm, ridiculous result, which I cannot see them doing. We're going to have ourselves quite the task to even get through to that next round, particularly with the way the tactic is at the moment, because I'm still not happy with that at all. Um, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. So this first season could be a real building block for us, uh, which is going to be difficult, but it's character building, as I always say, and I do love a bit of that anyway. So that's the rest of the draw, just filling itself in in front of us. Uh, we'll just might as well let it finish at this point, to be honest. Victoria Pilsen will play against either Karabag or Trenchin. So there we go, guys. Right. Um, enjoy some highlights of the games that we've played this month, which I've yet to play. And I'll join you guys in a sec for our next game, which will probably be a game um, against Stoyer, um, if I had to guess. So I'll see you guys in a sec for that. Add like it. Able to take it down in space. That's better. Sing. Bit of space through the middle. Oh, what a strike from Harmeet Singh. FC Midland 1. Viborg nil. What a hit from Singh. We really did need something special. My God, did he just provide it. What a strike. There we go. Midland 1. Viborg nil. A good result in the end. Um, took a little bit of working them down, but we did get the win, and that's the main thing. Maple still there. Ball across. Doolund at the back post. This time it is in. Michelin 1. Hibernians nil. Very, very early on. Mikhail Doolund. I think that's his first ever goal for us as well. Great start to the game for us. The cross whips it in. Cadillac takes a touch. Pulls it back for Onowachu. And it is 2-0 after 8 minutes. This looks a bit better. Tactical changes seem to be making some impact now. Admittedly, it is only Hibernians. Doolund, ball in, and it's put in at the back post, I think, by Kian Hansen. It's 3-0 to Michelin, and we've really sort of stepped things up in the latter part of this first half. We really, really have. 3-0. Hansen brings it down. Oh, and he's scored himself another one. Michelin, 4. Hibernians, 0. And I think that's two goals for Kian Hansen. Nicely done, centre-back. Olsen with a big tackle. Now there's a break on. Into the space for Cadillac. He's got the pace. Can he find the finish? He's through. Goes round the goalkeeper. And lovely finish from Vaclav Cadillac. It is 5-0 to Michelin now. This tactic's starting to look a little bit more sharp now. We're getting more shots and chances. There we go. 5-0. Still not enthralled about the number of shots on target, but the chance creation is definitely a lot better. We're going to get through here, though. Good save. Oh, good lord. On the rebound, Augustin puts it in for Sondajiska. And that is not a good start from us here. We've changed things up again a little bit, but we need to pull this one back and get ourselves a win here. Comes to the back post, and it is now 2-0. Sondajiska have torn us apart in this first half. There is a lot of work to be done with this tactic, that is for sure. Around the side for Cadillac. Can he pull it across for someone? He needs to. He finds Royer, and it is 2-1. We've got ourselves a goal back with our first shot of the game. I've made a little... I've switched to a 4-4-2. Into the channel for Augustin. Be careful here, guys. We've got enough in the box to surely deal with this, you'd feel. Ball back. Drachman. Don't let him shoot. Oh, or foul him. That, that works too. A man whose name I cannot pronounce has scored the goal to make it 3-1. And that's disappointing, but at the same time, I fully deserve them. We've got to do better. Can he find a ball? He can. Oh, no, Archer's in, and it is 3-2. We're back in the game at the right time. Can we get ourselves what would be quite a lucky result if we get anything from this game? There we go. They managed to hang on. Vaclav Kadlec missed an absolute sitter uh, about 87 minutes into that game. Very disappointing, but they've still played better on the night, to be honest. Right then, guys, we are back, finally, having played some fixtures. If we could get a 1,000 likes on the video, if you're still enjoying the series so far, that would be superb. And obviously, subscribe if you are new to the channel as well. So, once again, very little time has actually passed since the last now. Obviously, this is going to change as we get a few more episodes in. There'll be much, much larger batches of games in between. It's just a little bit more dicey at this point as I try to figure out what I'm doing uh, at this point. Because a new save is always very um, tough at the start when you're trying to work out tactics and just trying to get everything settled in and that's that's been a real problem for us so far as you might have noticed from some of the results we've just had but we do still have some stuff to talk about um we had a we had a great rejection which was fun 
So I now know what rejection feels like. Someone said that we should try and get in Jakob Haugard uh, from Stoke on loan, and they agreed it, but unfortunately he has no intention of returning to Denmark, which is a little bit of a pain because we could do with a decent goalkeeper right about now. Our scout finally found some players in, in Finland, bear in mind, so he's not exactly gone far afield, but at least he found some players for us to maybe take a look at. Guys, it's finally happened. My scout has found some players that aren't Danish and might not actually be that bad. Now, obviously, they're all under 19 because that's my I've got my settings set on that and I'm excluding all the Danish players he's found. But there's Mikhail Suisalo, who looks like he might have some potential in there. We're going to sort of uh, get a bit more of a report on him. And we're also going to get a report on Alexis Lehtonen. Um, he looks potentially interesting as well as a signing maybe um because we can get them fairly cheap because they're from finland so that would be kind of interesting if you have any thoughts on those guys do let me know if you've used them or anything like that that'd be awesome to hear and of course tim spav decided that in fact he wasn't going to try and enter negotiations with us for a new contract because apparently previous negotiations had broken down negotiations which never occurred because that was the first time i tried to offer him a contract of any sort now, after two games, here is how the league is shaping up. Obviously, it doesn't look good for us so far. Losing, a, I think it's pronounced Sundersjiska, but that could be completely wrong. So if you're Danish, do let me know. I, I want to try and get this as correct as I can, because it is difficult pronouncing things in a different language or, you know, using a different syntax. So just forgive me on that one if you can. But as you can see, we are top of the injury list as well, along with um, Esbjerg. And uh, that is going to be a problem for us because we've now lost Auntie Mabel uh, with a pulled hamstring, which means we're sort of having to move stuff around even further. Looking at the squad itself, onowachu has got three goals in three starts, which is pretty damn good. Cadillac's got two, Singh's got two, including an absolute stunner against Vibor. And um, Kian Hansen got two goals in one game against Midgel uh, not Midgeland, against Hibernians, which was pretty damn impressive. So we've got a bit of a tough run coming up. We've got obviously games thick and fast, which is never good really in these situations, but we've got to try and get through two games against Stoyer. We have to try and get through, but I just don't think we're going to. I think if we could sort out a tactic right now that worked, we'd be fine. Because I think pound for pound, we might just be stronger, maybe. But at the moment, the tactic is just so unsure. And this is one of these things. I never pretend to be good at the game. I've never said I'm good at the game. I just like playing it uh, for you guys. Now, I, when it comes to tactics, I'm either very hit or very miss. Like in the last series, we generally did okay for tactics once we got something that worked. And at the moment, I'm still struggling to find even the basis of something that works. So I've messed around with all sorts. And this is my latest little attempt. Now, it does seem to plug a lot of gaps in the in the team so i'm hoping that it could kind of bring us some success but we'll have to try it out today and that's going to be the huge test for us we're going to go with this team um you might notice that sparv is playing as a center back i might not actually do that today i might get sparv in there and put vanguard in oh no hang on no wait 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 wait, wait. <laughs> no um this is the problem. I might actually get Budarov in. Uh, on loan from Fulham, of all people, which is kind of cool. Uh, though he was never much of a success for Fulham, so that does worry me at the same time. But it gives us options off the bench, along with Christian Backback. He's finally back, back. And uh, that's good to see, because it means we've got extra options on this right-hand side. He does play on the right. No, he's, he's a... Yeah, he does play on the right. Thank God for that. Um, anyway, the one downside of playing this sort of tactic is that we only have one striker spot, and I would rather... N I wanted to try and find a way to play two strikers. So again, if you have any ideas, do let me know. Uh, I'm all open to it. I'm all open to ears at this point because I just feel like there's a lot more that we can get out of this. I need to make sure that we get something solid, at least for this first season, just to see us through. Right, so this is the team we're going to go with. We're going to go with Cadillac, Duland, Royer, uh, Olsen, Poulsen, lovely midfield, Rhyming names, love it. Uh, Sparv, Novak, Budarov, Hansen, Roma, and Anderson. It's not too bad. Again, there's some other strike. I'm looking at a guy called Jonathan Linseth uh, from Norway, who I think he's 18 years old. He is a free agent at the moment, and he was actually suggested through one of those hot prospect scout offer things, you know, the uh, agent offers. But I took a look, and he might be okay to bring in on a free just to give us a little bit of extra boost in that midfield. And as I said, this summer, it probably won't be much about us actually signing players. I really want to wait until we can find some regens, um, because that's my favourite type of signing to make. It's very difficult for me at this point because i don't like going out and signing the traditional wonder kids i find it boring and i'm hoping that we can just get ourselves through this first season and we can really start to bring in some awesome looking regions and that's when things really start to get interesting for me anyway and i hope you guys are here because that's the reason i'm doing this save basically now we're actually the favorites for this game which is quite interesting but that might just be because we're the home team so that's not entirely uh relevant i'm not sure we'll have to see that sometimes can be a bit odd um something else i should point out is that a lot of people asking about you know whether i'm going to take over the national team i don't have any plans to just because the national team, for my opinion, this is just my opinion, I don't see any relevance to the quality of the league from the national team. Like, because after all, we're not going to be signing Danish players, which means, well, we will, but from our own academy, which means that we're not going to need to know what the other teams have got in terms of, oh, Toshka, that's kind of cool. Um, sorry, that's a blast from the past type of name. Um, we're going to just do our best today and see what we can come up with, basically, against Stoya. That's not bad. We've had a shot. Apparently, we're struggling. This is the thing. This tactic just seems to be 
no matter what I do, we are really, really struggling in possession. I'm just wondering if we should just turn on retain possession. But the reason I don't like doing that is because I often... F maybe we should do that. Maybe we should work the ball into the box and maybe turn off retain possession at a later date. It might just give us a bit more uh, of an option here. But again, we're not getting a lot of the ball. And that is always a problem with these tactics. We're looking all right here. I feel like if we can win, if... And that is a huge if, bear in mind. I tell you what, we're not doing too badly in terms of shots. But, you know, one of them's a long shot. Pass completion is decent. Cross completion isn't awful either. Hmm. Not a single high... I have got highlights turned on, right? Yes. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Did I turn the replays on? I did. Right. Okay. So half time. Well, apparently we're firmly in control. If we can get a goal, which is fine. I'd take a 1-0 win, to be honest. Hey, I'd, I'd settle for a 0-0 at times just because I actually thought we were going to get ourselves completely creamed here. I want to see if we maybe go to a control type of setup and maybe... I don't know. I feel like I'm just going back towards what I did with Wimbledon, but that's because I know it works. It's really difficult to find something new that you kind of feel like is going to work. Um, generally, the passing has been spreading it wide, and I wonder if we can get in down this right-hand side a little bit more. Now, the issue is that I wish, oh my god, I wish that we had um, Mabel available, at least had Mabel available. Like, fair enough, we won't have Sisto until sort of November kind of time, but my god, when he comes back, that's going to be a godsend. But what I really want is, you know, we're using our third choice right-hand side player at the moment, and that's not so great. Doolan, can he knock it down? No, he can't. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, just win that. Or make him hit it long. Um, Alsenat. Ad Popper. That guy just, that guy's name sounds like a website. Um, Borciano, Stanchiu. Just, mm. we're set to close down a bit more, but I'm not sure what we're really doing it. There we go. Roma. Royer. Those two I get a bit confused. Oh dear, that's a terrible pass. Uh, there's a bit of space in behind the fullback here if they want it. Be careful, guys. All right. Or just let them shoot from range. Suits me fine. So the first actual highlight of the game has come from a long-range shot, Dooland. God, if we can win this 1-0 and actually play some decent football today, which it looks like we're doing. We're starting to get some chance... Well, shots, anyway. Chance creation is a little bit less. Roma. Back for Sparv. Back for Roma. Get that ball in. We need a good cross here. Olsen! Yes! Michelin 1, Stoyer 0, and that is a big, big goal. We've... We, I think Stoyer are a much better side than Sernajiska. I would imagine so, because Romania, I'm pretty certain, are further up the rankings than we are um, in terms of, you know, the actual rankings themselves. And to us actually get this goal, if we could win this game, even if it's just 1-0, that gives me huge confidence going into the next game um, that we can actually do something. Maybe we found ourselves a tactical base to work on. Good ball in. Olsen with a lovely finish, and the goalkeeper's just flailing around like one of those wacky, waving, inflatable arm failing tube men, um, which is glorious. Right, so they've yet to hit the target. They've had three long shots out of their five shots. We've actually yet to create a clear-cut opportunity. But now that we've got ourselves a goal, I'm going to lower that tempo down a tad and just give us a chance to, if we find ourselves in another opportunity to score, hopefully have a slightly better chance of taking it, which means I'm also going to tell them to concentrate. The players are looking all right today. Um, good performer from Olsen. Roma obviously got an assist on that. I think Roma could be really, really important. I noticed in pre-season he had some assists in his game, which is quite important to us. Hmm, okay. He is coming off, and on will come the big man, Paul Onoachu. I'm really liking him so far. Someone said that they he's like a cult hero with them and their friends. Um, so I don't know who that was. I apologise, but I think he could become my little cult hero at this rate. Harmeet Singh. Now, I'm tempted to get him on for Poulsen as well. Budarov might be... Hmm. Ooh. I, just, I don't even care that, like... Bangard is just, I think, a better player than Budorov. Now, the reason I'm getting Sing on is because I want to see if he can do what he does. Now, Stoyer, again, yet to hit the target with a single shot so far. Maybe just uh, switch him to a target man for now and also get him to aim his crosses at the target man. It's just an idea. I don't know how well this is going to work for the final seven minutes, but if it gets us the second goal, then it's what... Oh, no. Hamroon, ball in. Royer clears it. This is where I want players pushing out to try and close those gaps down a little bit more. Hamroon. We win it off them here. We just don't seem quite as... There's not enough urgency about us, I think. That's my problem. They've not hit the target yet, Toshka, but don't let them do this now. All right, fine. You know what? Andre Roma is going to get sent off here. That... It is what it is. But at least it might have been enough to prevent us from losing or drawing this game. Now, of course... Hmm, okay, who do we have that we can put in that position? Uh, right. <laughs> Let's just put Hansen in there. Oh, actually, that works just fine, doesn't it? Uh, just put you onto a ball in midfield or on defence, just to cover that angle a little bit more than perhaps we did before. Um, actually, Palmy's also tempted to just quickly just drop those guys back into the midfield, just to give a little bit of a less gap there. I think we can get away with a 1-0 win here, which would be pretty damn impressive, considering how badly we played in the last game. And I know we've not created a single chance. Oh, no. 
cleared away by Bangard. Come on, guys, hang on. A 1 1 draw is absolutely woeful. A 0 0 would have been better. Don't give away a penalty or something. Kaja. Oh. And they've scored a long shot in the 83rd, 88th minute. Their first shot on target in the entire match, and it's gone in. Oh, that's disappointing. That really is disappointing, and I'm not really sure what more we can do there. We, they've only had one shot on target, and it's gone in, and it's a long ranger as well. The guy's getting out there. It's a good hit, and oh. Not what we wanted. It was looking so good for us. But I feel like we're getting somewhere now, maybe, with the tactic. I thought that when Romo got himself sent off, that it might actually be enough to get us over the line. But it turns out it's not going to be. One all is going to be difficult to overcome uh, in the next leg. Hansen. Oh, Royer, go on, get that ball in. Olsen. Oh, what a chance. That was actually an opportunity for us there. If Olsen, if that doesn't fall to Olsen, we might have a shot there. Because he's not the best in these situations. Hansen. Go on. Go on, Paul. Ah, oh, 1-1. Not the best, but at least it was slightly better than we've seen lately. Yeah, we should be winning this match, but... Ah, uh, I don't care if you're demotivated. That was poor. We really should have hang on, hung on there. I can't believe we've let in the only shot that they actually hit the target with. We are going to have our work cut out for us in the second leg of this, particularly as we've only got one game in between, which is that. Now, what I'm thinking for the game after that would be to just... If we go through, of course, we'll be doing uh, probably another Champions League game. But if not, which would suck because I don't think we'd get even to the Europa League with that, uh, we'll probably do Obro uh, or Hobro IK uh, at home um, just to maybe get us, you know, get a few more games under our belt. And that will bring us to the end of the month. And hopefully we'll actually have a few signings in by then. But it's just, you know, with all these games coming thick and fast so early in the season, it gets a little bit messy. But things should spread out and you'll get a lot more games per episode. Promise you that. Anyway. If you guys have enjoyed this so far, I know that we've lost a game and we've drawn that one. But hey... It's a work in progress. If there wasn't a struggle, it wouldn't be anywhere near as fun. That's just my opinion. If you want to see someone win all the time, this is not the channel for you. Um, this is someone who flails around intensely whilst uh, losing heavily. That, that's basically what I do. So, if you have enjoyed it, yeah, do drop a like on the video. If we can get to a thousand, that would be superb. Really, really would. Uh, the support you guys showed on the first episode, which is all that's actually gone out when I'm recording this, was amazing. So I cannot thank you guys enough. And I'm hoping that we can keep that up for a very, very long time. That's the plan anyway. So, um, I will join you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.